In today's video, we're doing a blind mystery collection opening. What's up guys, we're back with another mystery collection. I literally have no idea what is in this collection. I got an email from Tony and he said, hey, uh, I just sent you a collection. I'm like, uh, really? He said, yeah, I sent it to your PO box. Honestly, I've been turning down a lot of collections because I'm trying to get caught up on a lot of different selling things and stuff. So I would have probably said no if he had asked me, but he didn't. So it's here. I mean, we might as well open it up and see if we're going to buy it or not. But before we get into it, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three mechanized madness structure decks. You can make yourselves a Machina deck. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. What should I purchase this collection for? And what's your favorite card inside? Okay, I just opened the box up and it is all packaged in this like birthday looking thing. It's like a bubble mailer for a birthday. That's what it looks like. So I'm going to open this thing up and find out what's actually inside. It sounds like they're like being stored in a tin maybe or something. Okay, let me get this open. This thing looks really cool though. I'm not going to lie. All right, these are the only two items, which is a great sign for me because if there's not a ton of bulk, it's a much easier collection to buy and like, you know, go through and everything like that. So this is actually probably one that I actually would have accepted now that I'm looking at it. Okay, so uh, inside, oh, is this Pokemon? Okay, I don't really want to buy Pokemon, but it looks like I might be. Uh, it's all Pokemon here. Hopefully this isn't all Pokemon because that would be a little bit harder to move since I'm not necessarily a Pokemon TCG guy. But my, I have sold a lot of Pokemon on my TCG player store when we did some openings on twitch so maybe it wouldn't be too bad i just don't know the prices and stuff as well i feel like a new but i'm going through pokemon card prices and everything looks like a lot more new cards aerodactyl v v star we got smeargle i don't i'm guessing these aren't too great i mean those are rainbow but a lot uh, could be decent the alternate arts are like the big stuff these days but i don't know how old this stuff is serena you, you never know with the uh the female cards sometimes they're crazy it's going tank v we got the v star these i'm guessing are like more you know one to ten dollar cards if i had to guess oh that one's pretty nice that might be something unless it's a promo it looks like it's a secret rare okay pretty good that's an alternate art i think that was out of the set i opened a bunch of what are, crown zenith i think is what it was called so that's probably a pretty good card maybe there's some decent stuff in drowsy that's definitely an alternate art that could be decent a drowsy alternate art and then the the foreign cards are the absolute hardest even in Yu Gi Oh. it's just it's just hard to move those good stuff though really cool i mean you love to see the pokemon i'm a huge pokemon fan if you guys don't know perfect time to shout out pokerux my other pokemon channel where we do pokemon playthroughs such as like nuzlocks and something like that which I also do on Twitch, so go check out my Twitch channel as well. So go subscribe to uh, Pokerox and go follow there if you guys want to see some of that. Now I'm hoping this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, I mean, Pokemon, we can handle a little bit. We don't want it to all be Pokemon, hopefully. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think it's might be Pokemon. Oh, no, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! It's Yu-Gi-Oh! We're good. It's Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. Don't freak out. Okay, I'm going to have to carefully get these out. Okay, we have more cards. These are foreign, which I just mentioned are very, very tough. Uh, of course, they. Of course, I just jinxed myself. Oh, well, that's a pretty nice card. Ultimate Rare Fall in the Valbaz. Collector Rare uh, Lightning Storm. What is this out of? This is from uh, Rarity Collection, the fourth edition, I guess. Okay, so these are cards that I normally would not pick up because I don't have a good way of selling them. There's a very beautiful card. Sub Dragon Infinity. Uh, now, okay, English cards. Good, good. English cards, thank goodness. Uh, we have a Evenly Matched and a Mega Pack 2018. Wow, Evenly Matched is an old card. 2016, I think, is when it actually came out. Lord of the Heavenly Prison, this is no longer anything. Every time I see this, I remember it being three or four bucks when Ghost of the Past 2 came out. It's like 50 cents now. Just because so many uh, Ghost of the Past 2 packs were out there. But as an alternative, Ultimate Dragon has held up really well as a promo. It's like six bucks, I think. Absolute Zero. I, I somehow just find these all the time. They're like 10 bucks. Thanks to Edison being crazy. Hyper Libra Librarian, we just opened one of these uh, Return of the Duelists. That's a few bucks. So it's Omoyu, I think it's still decent, even though it has had reprints, but the Bode Secret Rare is going to be decent. Uh, that's a, a common card. Interesting. Uh, Tornado Dragon. Prank Kids places a secret? I did not remember that. Oh, it's from Hidden Summoners, where it was a lot of secrets. Okay. Berserk Gorilla, that's super random. Okay. And then Photon Bouncer, also a pretty good card out of Galactic Overlord. That's the original print. Okay. Guardian Seal, Imperial Order. We have Pot of Greed. I'm, I don't know if there's any huge cards in here. He did give me like a number of what he thought it was worth, so... It was kind of high, so I'm guessing that there's got to be some, like, fairly high-end cards in here. Like, 50-plus dollar cards, at least. That's a good one. That's, like, 30 bucks. Omni Dragon Brotar. Okay, Guardian Chimera Original Print's pretty good. Some decent cards so far. It's really not a bad collection. We got a lot of cards left, though, so there's a lot of potential to pull more crazy. Sign Up Mining, I don't remember what the price is now. It used to be, like, $10 card. Not so much anymore. I don't think with the reprints, but I don't know what it is currently. Okay, what else do we have? Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon. That's from dragons 
what is this? Some sort of the complete edition or whatever. Red Resonator, Red Sprinter. We got Abyss Shark, the Teresia. We've got a Ready Fusion, Iris Sword Soul, Branded Opening. That's a classic. I remember finding 70 of these in bulk. That was a good time when it was 25 bucks each. That was really awesome. We have the Zambi, Z Zambi, Zombie Vampire. Okay, it's a lot of uh, Bode stuff, actually, which has really been crushed by reprints in terms of value. IP Masquerade is still pretty awesome in gold. Uh, Lord of Heavenly Prison, Moye again. A lot of Moyes. We got basically, like, play sets of those cards for the most part. Guardian Chimera again is really, really nice. Uh, Galaxy Eyes out of the tin. Very, very cool. And Malefic Stardust Dragon. All right, what else do we have? More Heat Soul. Okay, nothing too crazy. Tyrant Dragon's pretty good. Dark. Galaxy Soldier, another absolute zero. Always very good. Adoration, another absolute zero. You'll have to see those. What a version. These are the special edition. Yeah, Gen 4 special edition. Uh, a Luber is still okay. It used to be a $20 card and it goes to the past. Now it's like a dollar, I think. Maybe two. Teresia, more zombie vampire. Dude, he opened a lot of that set. Oh, is that Battles of Chaos, I guess? A uh, Ghost Bell from Flood. Oh, it's unlimited. First set would have been pretty nice. Still, unlimited's good as well. All right, uh, okay, now we got some, uh, what is this, the Speed Duel? Yeah, Speed Duel Secrets. These are all, not all good, but some of them are decent. Foxy Tunes held up for a while. The Enchantress Sword Soul, we got a Droplet in here. I think it's about 10 bucks out of a, what is it? Uh, Legendary Duelist 9, which is the Abyss Duels from the Deep. There we go. It's about 10 bucks. I thought it was more when we pulled it the other day, and then I was like, wow, it's only 10 bucks now. Okay, I guess because a lot of reprints. We have the Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. We got the Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. It used to be 50 bucks, 40 bucks. I think it's down to maybe 20 now. So not bad. Uh, maybe a little bit less than that, actually. My friend Pearly. The Pearlies were crazy for a while, then they crushed them on the ban list. So not as good anymore. Oh, we got a Rescue Rabbit Collector Rare. That's pretty nice. Uh, IP Mascarena is another gold, another evenly different version. Illusion of Chaos, two of those is about a $30 card. Baron Maze. What does the Maze Baron go for? $40, $50? That's what it used to be. I'm assuming it hasn't gone down because there hasn't been any reprints since then. Uh, or at least not too much. Deep Eyes, Junk Converter, another Droplet in a different version. This Secret Rare probably does better than the Duels from the Deep version just because it's pretty. Right Arm, we have the Winged Dragon of Raw. Very cool. What, what arm version is this? LOB, the 25th anniversary. Okay. Imperial, we have the Dark Magician. Those can go together. Another Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, but this is the Tin version. Selene, Queen of Master Magicians. Dawn of the Herald, just some random commons thrown in here, which is interesting. Solemn Judgments are still like two bucks, I think, so not bad. Soul Servant, Secret Rare. We pulled one original print the other day. I bet this is worth more. Dragon Ravine, Ian Shuffle. Hugin, we got Hugin. Nobody likes the Runics, so I'm not going to get too excited there. <laughs> All right, still a few cards left. Let's see, we have Clockwork Knight. We've got the Goatee. Guardian Grarl, we have Parasite, Parasite, Heavy Storm. Let's get some crazy cards in here. Hugin again, we got Runic, we got a, oh, Blue Eyes, not bad. Runic Tip's pretty good. I don't know if they're still good in the meta, though. Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon, I think is one of the best cards in Maze now. F-Zero, at least last time I saw. Chupacabra, okay, cool. We have the Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Panda. Panda. Is it the uh, Kung Fu Panda? Uh, who knows? Elephant? Elephant or Panda? Those might be the good ones. Archfiend's Awakening from Faiga. Ooh, Faiga, ugh. Open some mystery boxes, I guess. We have the uh, Susanowo. The Right of Aramisir, Secret Rare from Monster's Revenge. More Shadows Light, Ariance. A little Welcome Labyrinth action. He opens the 25th anniversary for sure. Secret Rare, Lightning Storm. Beautiful. Oh, Red Nova Dragon, First Edition, Ultimate Rare. That's that's probably one of the biggest cards we've found so far. Yazi, also pretty nice. Okay, Thor, Lord of the Aesir is an unlimited ulti. We have a number 34. Ruxin 34. Let's go, baby. That's my card right there. That's me, the ultimate rare terabyte. That's because I need it for all my videos, the terabyte of storage. We have the Exo Sister Packs, the Collector Rare. We're trying to hit some big stuff here at the end. Uh, Photon Veil, ultimate rare. This is really turning it up. Supreme Arcanite Magician. Yeah, I think this is the one that Yu-Gi-Mo pulled in. Then I, I don't remember what happened exactly. Uh, Loki, Lord of the Acer. It's an unlimited as well. We have the Alistair Collector Rare. Not the original Alistair. He didn't get a Collector Rare, unfortunately. They gave the Link one of Collector Rare for some reason. The Amazing Dragon Collector Rare. We got number C-104, Umbral Horror Masquerade. I'm guessing that's not crazy valuable, but it's an ulti. I don't remember this card. Bujinte Kagasuchi. I do not remember this card from Shadow Specters. I don't know if I've ever pulled that. Number 12, Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja, is actually a sick card. I don't know if it's, like, super valuable, but it's a very, very awesome card. We have Scrap Twin, Dragon, and Odin. Ooh, Odin Ghost Rare. You love to see that. Let's see what the condition is on the Odin real quick. Mystery opening has been pretty fun so far. It, at the beginning, I was like, eh, I don't know about this, but 
it's definitely turned up here. It, it's been a pretty solid collection for the most part. It scared me starting with Pokemon and 4 and Yu-Gi-Oh. I was like, I'm gonna have to send this back, but I think this is a, a purchasable collection here. Looks good. Okay, a little bit, some scratches, but honestly, like, light play at worst. Yeah, probably, like, light play, very light play, but... You know, something like that. Okay. All right. So far, been good. It looks like we have some more bangers. We have the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon Ghost Rare. That's amazing. Wing Dragon of Ross Sphere Mode Ghost Rare. Are we going to get something crazy from Ghost in the Past 2? Dark Magician Girl, please. Ooh, a Secret Rare. I mean, not Secret Rare. Starlight Rare. This is the worst one from Bo, though. Unfortunately, it looks like he pulled this one rather than really any of the others. The Snow was never a very good card, even in Flanderies, so it didn't really go up. The Amaterasu. Okay, let's check this thing out. Okay, let's not spoil the next card. This is a mystery collection blind opening. I honestly do not know any of these cards. The story is real. I didn't know he was sending me this, so I'm just reacting to it 100%. This is a very clean ghost rare. First dead, too. Okay, there might be a dent right there. Oh, that's a bummer. I think there's a dent right in the middle right there, but the, the freaking foil looks amazing. The freaking foil. I don't know why I said that. Okay, yeah, it's definitely like a dent or a bend right there. You can see it through the back. That's unfortunate because it's a really great looking card. Still a nice looking card overall. Not bad. Okay, more cards. We have the Lightning Storm. Beautiful. We've got the Apollosa. Always a good card. I mean, it's very solid. Alternate art as well. That helps. Uh, Advent Adventure is a good card. Ooh, Photon Dragon. Okay, we got to check this out. It's unlimited, but it does bring me back to when I... You guys know the story, Jarvis? I'm talking to you. We know the story of when I pulled this out of a Walmart blister pack, a random card. Definitely got some foil scratch. Dude, this is one of the best looking ghost rares out there. Check this out. Beautiful card. Ah! It. it's so good it's so good that is a beautiful ghost rare not all ghost rares are created equal because this one looks a lot better let's just compare this to a ghost from the past ghost rare yeah look at that versus that i mean obviously there is a choice here of which is better unfortunately they did not do that they did it seems like the uh legendary duelist 10 ghost rare, actually they brought back some of that like some of that shininess which is really cool triple tactics talents okay we got the sky striker ace shizuku we've got the tengu the wing Miyakushi. Ultra Rare Blue Eyes Unlimited. We have the Ultra Rare Blue Eyes Unlimited, the Ice Jade. We've got Dark Flare Knights. Dark Holt looks like we got something coming up here. It might be a nice card. We got Freed. We've got a, uh oh, don't spoil it. We have, oh, it might be Slifer. We have the Catapult. Okay, just Slifer. <laughs> Slifer, not that crazy. Gate Guardian, we bought how many of these? Uh, oh no, it's the MRD version. I thought this was the Speed Duel for a second. We From Simply Unlucky on our 100K or our 1K investment, thanks to Twitch chat, it was the worst decision ever. That card's like 50 cents now. We paid like 450 on 25 of them. It was terrible. Okay, we got Blue Eyes Tune Dragon. So this is just the 25th reprints, which are still pretty good. Secret Rares. Trihorn, we have a Obelisk. Okay, he definitely opened a lot of these, which I respect. We have Fog King, Lord of Darkness. On your mark, get set, do. This looks like a collector rare. Nice. Trihorn Dragon, uh, Sky Striker Airspace Arrow Zero. We have the Captain Carry. All right, good stuff. On to our final stack. These are the last cards that we have of the collection. It's definitely gotten way better as we've gone through, and it seems like a pretty solid collection overall. I'm definitely gonna have discussions about picking it up. I think we'll probably buy this. We have the Serpent Knight Dragon. We're going to go through one at a time, see if we get anything crazy. Magic Jammer. 20, it might be 25th stuff to end it. Uh, we have the Mirror Wall. It's hard to go through these with the sleeves like this. Strike Ninja. Got the... Oh, there's a Slifer back there. We got Clockwork Knight. I don't think it's too crazy. Slifer the Sky Dragon. Also a good card. We got Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. That's a beautiful secret rare. I love that. Uh, pretty nice. So it's not all 25th. We're back to Battles of Chaos. He definitely opened a lot of this. I mean, it's a great set to open, to be honest. It still has pretty good value. Master of Chaos. I wonder if we got the Dark Magician. Exosister Packs. We got the Runic Tip. Ew, gross. We have the Garura, Wings of Resonant Life. This used to be one of the best cards. I don't know how it's held up. I don't think there's been a reprint. So if there hasn't, it might be like a $20 card. Um, we have the Rite of Aramisir. Okay, let's, this is a little bit difficult. Toon Mermaid, also pretty good. Pot of Prosperity. We recently pulled one of these in a video. This is like a $45 card, I think. That's really, really good. We've got the Blackwing Assault. Haven't seen this in a long time. I, mean, I do have a lot of dabble packs we need to open before they reprint everything. I keep forgetting. Uh, we have Bestial Dispater. We've got the Manadium Ryamheart. The Chaos Angel. This is another card I haven't thought about. Dude, Cybernetic. Uh, what is this called? Oh, it's the one I could never get right. Cybernetic access is what I was, I would always call it that. Cyberstorm access. I haven't thought about this card in a while. Cyberstorm access, I just wipe from my memory. I barely even remember that set. It's not a terrible set. I just forgot. Nibiru. It was one that came like very quickly after another set. Rainbow Bridge of Salvation. So not a lot of time to remember it. Another Nibiru. Cashier Unicorn was like 20 bucks. I don't know if it still is. 
The Punk Amazing Dragon, that's a collector rare, very nice. Diviner of the Herald, also good. Delinquent Duo is always 20 bucks, so no. It's always 20, so that's a crazy card. Trap Jammer, super. Premat. Uh, we have the Sword Soul Grandmaster Chi Chow, that is not a crazy card. I think it's like two bucks, maybe a dollar. Messenger of Peace, we're down to the very last couple cards while nature's release. Hungry Burger to end it off. And finally, is it a common? No, it's a Mystical Elf. Okay, Mystical Elf, not bad. Overall, that turned into be a pretty good collection that I'll probably pick up. Thanks again, Tony, for sending it in and shocking me. Like, literally, this is the most blind of blind openings because I didn't even know I was getting it until you messaged me about it. So it was fun to open this up completely blind and see what we got. And I like it. It's a lot of fun, a lot of variety. There's foreign, there's Pokemon, there's Yu-Gi-Oh, there's high rarity, there's low rarity, ghost rares. Good stuff. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto, Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Stage 21, CJ, Leah Gwine 62, Another Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barney, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.